here is Cheevan Clark of Great Britain. We have talked about what a great few days it has been for Britain. 11 boxers qualifying for Tokyo. Cheevan Clark, he defeated Vagan Nanitsian of Greece. Split decision to qualify for Tokyo. His opponent, who looked extremely useful yesterday, Emmanuel Reyes Pla from Spain, 28 years old. He defeated the number two seed, Radoslav Pantaleev, world bronze medalist. The Bulgarian disqualified for repeated transgressions as he failed to cope with Reyes' speed and accuracy. Reyes dominating the first round and he was on top in the second. Pantaleev just losing his rag somewhat. But uh, this should be a good contest. Clark, if he wins, will have a rematch with Gadzin Magomedov from the quarterfinals of the World Championships, which the Russian won before going on to take the title. Rory, very interesting here. The drama, unforeseen, something you can't plan for. They're in the locker rooms figuring they probably had another half an hour and all of a sudden two quick ends to the bouts in the first round and all of a sudden that was the delay and they they got to quickly get ready to come out and throw hands and uh but wow what talent in the ring right now yes emmanuel reyes the cuban born boxer our spanish colleagues say he's one of Spain's best boxers for the last two or three decades. He really rates him highly. And he showed his class against Pantaleev. And they won the uh, local favorite and won the 2021 Boxham tournament in Castellan. And of course the story, um, Jeevan Clark is well told, but it deserves to be repeated at eight. Almost died after falling off a ladder and impaling himself on a spike. And then 10 years later, flatlined at a hospital because of a burst appendix. And life lessons learned can certainly help him in the ring. Got a wonderful attitude. And he has achieved his dream of reaching the Olympic Games. He's up against talented boxer in Emmanuel Reyes. Yes, Reyes has quickness and 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 you know just ring presence that uh, belies his uh, massive body. I mean, he really floats out there, bouncing, and has a lot of power. See what Clark can do with him. Clark has never been to the Olympics, although he has gone and sparred with, you know, his his teammate who went on to win the gold. See Reyes duck under that shot from Clark. Clark had a bit of a struggle against Nanitsani and yesterday. Needed a big last round, and he he produced it. Final 20 seconds. Very active first round. Neither landing many full-blooded shots. As I say that, there's a, uppercut. an uppercut yeah. from Reyes. Advances forward menacingly. Flicks out the jab. That's the end of round one, and Clark might have a bit to think about. He's uh, so happy to be Olympian, finally. And it's just, uh, you know, he's going to be a, a media star when he gets there. Uh, great backstories. He's played Call of Duty with fellow Jamaican Usain Bolt, and I've told you the story about running into Prince Charles at an event, Commonwealth <laughs> Games in Glasgow, and he said, Prince Charles, you don't want any of this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the prince took it well. They took a picture, and uh, but uh, the picture that you see is not a good one 
for uh, Team GB at this moment. Clark winning the round on one scorecard, the other four to Reyes. Still two rounds for Clark to get something going here. One of the things that one of Reyes' talents is that you've mentioned his speed. I mean, he floats more like a welterweight or a middleweight. Yes. And as a result, he's quite hard to hit. He's not a stationary target that a lot of heavyweights present. He's always on the move. And you see Clark's uh, counter to that is to try to go right in and obviously cut the ring down a little, but bring the heat right in front. But Reyes has done a good job landing in close as well. Uh, really might be as talented as he is and I know the the folks uh, in and around the Spanish boxing world know all about him but he might surprise some people in Tokyo <laughs> unseeded for this yeah. event as you say he won the Boxham International in Castellón de la Plana, so he will have certainly garnered some attention, yeah. attention from that. But the field, you know, with this COVID year, the field wasn't quite maybe up to, up to normal standards. That's a good left from Reyes and a right. Clark trying to wheel away, but... Reyes wise to that attack. Clark just trying to find a way forward. To find some uh, rhythm. Trying to get the jab going, Clark. No holding is the instruction. Last ten. Perhaps we've just seen a couple of box offs which. Both had unsatisfactory finishes, the lot on the line. This bout, not quite so much, and these heavyweights have had a heavy workload. Yes. Third bout in consecutive days, and the winner could have a fourth tomorrow. That's a very tough ask of these uh, great athletes. And he, I, I think I, I would explain Reyes slowing down just a little in the last half of that round, I think. Not quite as bouncy quite as quick but what has he done in round two to back up what he did in round one and not too much to choose between them but I think Reyes will get the verdict exactly the same judge yes. one going for Clark and the rest going for Reyes so four judges scoring it Reyes by two And normally, if, if there was a place at Tokyo on the line, you'd expect Clark to go hammer and tongs, but perhaps knowing that he's already qualified for Tokyo, does he really want to have a fourth bout in four days? He might not be quite so committed to right. trying to, right. to take victory here. Not that it doesn't matter. It obviously does, and they have pride, but really the big prize is coming up in uh, Japan. I think Clark's doing his best to uh, dispel my thoughts by charging in and Reyes landing a couple of decent shots early in round three. 
Well, really, the, the reality of your notion is that, you know, you see the walkovers, and that's, that's what those are about. You know, it's about uh, just a smart look at your schedule and w what's the cost-benefit ratio. We're not ruling out the possibility of injuries as Clark looks appealingly to the referee. And that's not the first time Reyes has been warned about holding. A deduction on, po uh, you know, deducting a point could bring Clark back into this. Absolutely. Clark trying to get something going. Reyes does move well. He's not going to leave his chin hanging out. But it, with, at this weight with these powerful men, it's, you're on to something there because it, there's always a puncher's chance if Reyes is leaning and Clark catches him. We've seen a couple. We've seen a couple of big punches here this week. Seem to remember a, a knockout for Andrei Zamkovoy, the Russian. Yes. Of you can catch up on all the action over the last few days on Olympics.com. Just over 30 seconds to go in this bout. This is our last bout on Ring B this evening. Men's heavyweight semi-final. Clark trying to force the issue. Reyes makes him miss. You can forgive both men for this being a slightly lacklustre encounter. High workload in recent days. Reyes happy to run down the clock. There's the final bell. They may well see each other again in Tokyo. Every chance. Clark, the number three seed here in the Europe qualifier. Probably be on the losing side here, but we'll find out what the five judges at ringside made of it any second now. Sports results. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner on point by split decision. In the blue corner, representing Spain, Emmanuel Reyes Pla. Split decision for Emmanuel Reyes Pla, which suggests that Clark took the last round on all five scorecards. But Emmanuel Reyes is through to the men's heavyweight final. And he will come up against Russia's reigning world champion, Muslim Gadzi Magomedov. That could be a, an interesting contest. Although, we have to find out in the morning if both men will be ready for that bout. There is the scorecard. Well, judge one. Of course, he, he is... He gave the first two rounds to Clark, and he actually 